Hi there, I'm Steve Park. Welcome to my neighbourhood, Farmville 3052. So where is Farmville? Well, you won't find it on any map, not even Google Earth, because Farmville is a fictional community brought to life from the creative imaginations of the staff at Monash University, Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Our review of the course recognised that for students to make sense of their learning, there was a need to embed the theory in something authentic and relevant. Something they could relate to at an emotional level, as well as an intellectual level. We wanted to give students a realistic practice context. We're hoping that you can use our stories to help you understand how our health, our attitudes, our family backgrounds and our lifestyles all interact and influence our medicine taking. Farmville represents a cross-section of people in a typical Melbourne suburb. People who work, school children, stay-at-home mums, the elderly. We've created about 30 characters with a range of ethnic backgrounds, lifestyles and individual medical histories. Each of the therapeutic areas taught across the Bachelor of Pharmacy is represented in the Farmville community. It's about people's health. It's the human face of the Bachelor of Pharmacy. Farmville challenges the student as a professional in training to identify themselves as these people's healthcare provider. When we were developing the new curriculum, we wanted to develop a context for student learning. And Farmville is that context, this group of families with their, their histories and their problems and their issues really allow students to see the relevance of what we are teaching. As a teacher, I certainly find it very useful to be able to use examples of patients like Steve Park as a way of reminding the students constantly that uh, they are dealing with real people when they are interacting out in practice. You have such a broad range of characters, like there's heaps of different people from different backgrounds, so it really gives you a good idea of what sort of people you're going to come across when you're working. Say, so this person takes salbutamol because of asthma, you can actually um, relate it back to like a character. It's more um, interesting, real. more real, yeah. yeah. Early in the course, students are introduced to each character. Our project team at Monash created a collection of short films designed to give a sense of each individual's personality and health attitudes, medical background and lifestyle. Welcome to the Farmville Community Pharmacy. Let me introduce you to our local pharmacist, Laura Wilkie. G'day, Laura. Hi, Steve. How are things? Laura represents a typical pharmacist and features as a central figure in the Farmville community, a person responsible for and interested in their healthcare needs. The film cast is comprised mainly of professional actors, or with the exception of Laura, played by me. The films also subtly refer to other healthcare professionals, medical practitioners, maternal and child health nurse, physiotherapists, and even health food shops and traditional Chinese medicine. So I also take uh, glucosamine tablets and I buy them at the health food shop. The films are loaded with hooks about things like attitudes to medicines, side effects, illicit drug use and family support. For the teaching staff, these hooks present a link from the person to relevant discussion in their area. Teachers across all disciplines can use Farmville characters to help them pose questions to stimulate discussion. For example, what if Shane Bayer requires surgery? He uses daily methadone. What issues would arise in hospital regarding his methadone replacement? I use Steve a lot because he's a typical guy in his 50s who's too busy running a family and chasing after his job to worry about his weight or his health or anything. So trying to explain these issues to 20-year-olds who by and large have a lot of time on their hands, is, it's, you know, they need to see a real-life situation and it's not something that's in textbooks as, as real as that. Students have access to limited information on the Farmville community and use the website as their access point. Lecturers can easily integrate Farmville into classes by accessing detailed supporting materials. They can navigate from a medicine's chemical structure to a particular person's full medical history. It's a highly realistic simulation. Focus group evaluations of the project show that it can easily be linked and add value to the course content. Generally, the lecturers believe that students show a positive response to the characters in lectures. Farmville helps students understand the basic science and pull everything together. Farmville makes students think rather than just memorise. We've been developing the Farmville project since 2008. It's constantly evolving. We've got a number of extension projects now and they use the same community members. We use avatars, which are virtual representations of Farmville characters. 
In the second year assignment I've designed, I get students to review a video of a Farmville member and then reflect on that person's communication style. The major objective is to get students to think about how they would interact with that patient as a future pharmacist. In the Step Up project we were talking about where he took three of the characters and did further taping of their consultations in pharmacy and using it to develop uh, skills and knowledge around hypertension management and smoking cessation counselling. And we've created a separate online module based around those scenarios. Second year tutorials use green screen technology to place three of the characters in a community pharmacy setting presenting with a prescription problem. In our chemistry film, Laura talks about functional groups and molecules and how they influence clinical effects. We felt that using the community pharmacist as the medicine's expert developed that connection between the science and the patient. Farmville is very much a work in progress. It's, it's an open-ended exercise with potential to evolve in new teaching directions and to respond to other initiatives as they come along. Farmville's been a huge learning process for everybody. We're constantly exploring its potential. This is really just the beginning.